we lost a Kenyan and before he used to work in Qatar he worked for six years and when he went there I think he had some skin problems like he had eczema I am I saying this we don't have to wait for us to get to that point where we have now to start paying for our bills where we have to start paying for our medication while we could have still taken care of whatever was happening early Hi guys, hello, good morning, good afternoon or good evening depending with who you're watching me from. Hi, my good name is Polly J. Welcome and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and thank you for clicking this video. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope you're fantastic. Hi, my I am doing better. I'm doing good and I thank God for everything. So guys, welcome in our today's video and today I want us to speak about skin. I want us to talk about our skin. And the reason why I have decided to speak about this is because there's something that has been going on for a while now. And it's something that I want to share with you. I want to share with you my experience and what I have done and how I feel right now. So you might be going through the same thing or you might have gone through the same thing or maybe you have not and maybe you don't know something about it. That is why that is why i am here to share my story and also to motivate someone else or maybe to help someone out there who has so many questions regarding their own skin so without further ado let's go straight to the video <music> Okay. number one um i am a kenyan and back in my country the weather is fair the sun is fair not too much hot here in gulf it is coaching hot like it's super hot you know and um, i have found a difference here and back in my country i can't say i am new here because this is almost my third year here in dubai and um, i have stayed here for now two years six months and in the past two two months or yeah i think for the two months the last two months there's a way that i have been feeling but i have not felt it for the rest of the days that i have been here i don't know if you get it first thing that i have been feeling is let's say like right now the sun is out right now it's very hot outside actually it's 11 not 11 i think it's uh let me check the time it's 10 46 almost 11 am in the morning but right now the sun is very hot outside so last two months two months ago like let's say from when september now august and july from july i started feeling different like in my skin especially my face i always have a sensitive face i have never ever used sunscreen i have never used any cream like to protect myself from this sun or something i am not and every time i've been using shea butter and that is what has worked for me so far no chemicals no nothing so there's a way that i have been feeling and i was like asking myself why is it that i am feeling this way i don't know if there's a point that you felt like you've stepped just outside the sun but the sun is eating you direct that it's like eating you direct to your skull you understand not like with this skin that you see but directly inside and it's so much hot and sometimes i could even like put my hands up just to protect my forehead and my skin like i just don't want to feel that anymore it was so bad and uh it came to a point whereby i was now just like asking myself questions you know because i have been here and i have never felt that like that and sometimes when you feel a change in your body you feel a change in you you also have to know what is really happening instead of keeping quiet and also something else that i had noticed let's say like in that duration of two months if i sleep let's say it's night time i sleep at night in the morning when i wake up i am super okay super fresh my face is good everything is just okay but immediately the sun is out when now the warmth and the hotness is you know when it, now it's very hot like now when the hot weather is you know because in the morning it's hot yes but not too much hot but like right now it is hot so what i used to feel is when i wake up i am okay like my face is okay no problem but the moment the sun is out the moment it is hot 
I will just start feeling like itching my face. And when I go maybe to wash my face, I will feel these bumps on my face, you know, like pimples. Though you can't see them clearly, but there are some pimples. And like here, I used to have so much. Like you will see them and if you touch, they are still there. I would feel like that. And I'll be asking myself, why is this happening and why am I feeling this way, you know? Because when the sun is out, that is why I start feeling all these things. And when the sun is down, like from 7, 8, I don't feel that. When now the cold, not like cold because they, it's still summer, but when the warmth, at least it's manageable. I don't have all those. And mind you, I don't stay outside. I am always inside, but sometimes I go out and come back, go, come, like, maybe there's delivery, there's something I have to do outside, I have to go, right? But it is something that I never felt before, but I used to feel it. So I wanted to know what was wrong and what was happening. And, you know, here we don't go to the dermatologist. Here you don't have appointments or maybe you don't have, you know, you don't have that time or maybe you're not being taken there. And mind you, here... They have all the sunscreens, all the creams to protect themselves from this harsh weather. They have like almost everything. And if they undergo some issues, they always face the specialist and they are always getting help. But for you to do all that is maybe when you have a problem, that is maybe when you'll be taken. But you cannot be taken maybe on monthly uh, checkups, maybe to know how you're doing and all that stuff. So, you know, I used to feel that way. And uh, I came across... <clears throat> it was an article actually on a group on Facebook and this lady was asking for help like she has so much pimples and dark spots and all that stuff and while I was going through the comments I just came across a comment a lady had put like a medication their cream that has helped her and she was explaining how someone can use so I didn't want to use anything before I know much about it and also someone else was explaining she said yes i'm using the same thing but add this this and that you know we have so many people who want to advise us on different things and remember not everything works for everyone okay so remember i don't i don't have a dermatologist i did not go to the hospital but that feeling was still there so what did i do i followed one lady who i saw like a comment was genuine and she was explaining in details what to do and what not to do with that particular cream and everything so i dm'd her i told her please can you explain to me more about this i thank god she did i thank god that lady helped me a lot so i went she explained to me but she said you might be feeling this way because you don't use a sunscreen do you use i told her no she said this weather is very bad and sometimes people are suffering a lot with their skins without them knowing what is happening. It might be the creams or maybe the lotions that we are using here. But without you protecting your own skin, you will face some issues. So I was like, okay, so what do you use or what can you recommend me to use? Because she's a profession, okay? It's something that she does. It's not like someone who is trying like to now start and, you know, that is what happened. So she advised me to get a sunscreen that I will be using like daily, daily, daily basis. But at night I don't have to use it. And uh, I just want to tell you this. I don't know if you have ever used a sunscreen while here. Maybe in Kenya you never minded or you never doubted or you never bothered to use it. But let me tell you, the way I was feeling, I cannot wish anyone else to feel and i have not even used the sunscreen for one week but i feel very much okay i feel very good when i step outside here now i will not feel the same way i used to feel and i have not taken any medication i have not had any pills or anything no just the sunscreen and my normal cream just that so i have come to learn that a sunscreen plays a very big role in our screens in our skins so maybe sometimes you're feeling itchy, you're feeling just kind of a way that you cannot explain or maybe something that you've never felt and you're, you're there just wondering why am I feeling this way? Or maybe it has never ever happened to you. I think it is a time for you. This is a wake up call. If you don't use, start using now because it will protect you from so many things. It will protect your skin, you know. And you will not have to go through all those things. Maybe some people have gone through or maybe what I went through. Because 
when you use it at least your skin will be protected and you will get less you know all that sun stuff and everything then remember even if you don't go outside the rays will always come to you and rays is something that we cannot see so if you protect your skin you will be much much better this is just a disclaimer i am not a dermatologist but this is based on my story this is based on what i have used and what has worked for me remember again different things works for different people and you can always go for what works for you if you do not know you can see a specialist and someone who will advise you on what to use the reason why i am saying this is because some people might want to go for what i have gone for and they do not know if it will work for them for me i'm thankful because it is working and i feel feel much much better so i just wanted to advise you on this guys and just for me to remind you back uh, i think last month or last month but when we lost a kenyan and before he used to work in Qatar, he worked for six years. And when he went there, I think he had some skin problems like he had eczema. I don't know eczema is treatable. If you use the right medication, if you use the right creams, it is, made, it is treatable. So when he went to Qatar, remember, same sun in Qatar is same here. So that is what happened and it got worse and it had to resort as a result of skin cancer so he died i think a month ago maybe two months ago i'm not so sure i think it's last month he died of skin cancer and during his lives because now he took it to educate people about skin cancer and everything i came across a life whereby people joined and they a lady was also explaining how she was feeling and the exact feeling that he was feeling while he was in qatar is the same way that she was feeling the same you know and remember she went there without any problem but because of this sun that is why she was feeling that way so she was advised to go and see a specialist and make sure that everything is checked early because she might get help why am i saying this we don't have to wait for us to get to that point where we have now to start paying for our bills where we have to start paying for our medication while we could have still taken care of whatever was happening early i am sharing this because i have felt that it's i'm not saying like i have that chronic disease or something no but mine is working out because i have known how to protect my skin from this sun so the sooner the better for you if you start using something that will protect your skin you will prov you will prevent it from maybe going to an extent of maybe something else scratching yourself so bad damaging your own skin and maybe getting something worse than that i just hope that this video has helped you and if you're asking what sunscreen i am using i just went for a nivea sunscreen it's spf for 50 plus uh, I was recommended not to go for less than 30, but again, I was also told 50 is the best. So I just decided to go for the best. And right now I'm using it. It is good. I just feel okay. Remember, I have a sensitive skin, but it has not given me any reactions. So reasons why I went for this one, it's not an advert okay i'm just sorry i'm just trying to help someone who might want to know what i am using right now so the reason why i went for nivea and not other brands is because someday i will go back to my country and i i am that person who doesn't want to change product after product like if i am using this brand and it has worked for me i always want to stick to what has worked for me i don't like like going from this to another to another to something else no i just want to stay to one thing but this is something i know if i go in kenya if i go in any other country it's something that i can access nivea is everywhere but some other brands might be here and then in my country i might not find them so that is why i decided to go for nivea as i said it has worked for me right now i don't feel that and if you try to check at me i don't have those pimples and right now it's hot but be back then even if you try to check on my videos from before i think you can see i think from last month last month part one if you check if you look at me closely you will see and remember i have not even put any filters or something so i think it is working and i just hope for the very best because that is what i really want and i just hope that th this video has helped someone i hope it has helped you maybe think on what to do with your skin think on how to protect it with this sun think on how to protect to protect it with this kind of weather here and i just pray that 
you will find something that will work for you thank you so much for watching always i'm your girl pauline here so remember to subscribe remember to share remember to put on your post notification bell so that anytime i upload another video you will be there to be notified thank you so much for watching and much much thank you may god bless you bye bye and let me see you in the next video bye